Food. Yo, welcome back to another Joe's Food Bar. He's Joe, I'm Fu, and we want to thank you all for watching. Since it is an important month right now, what is the special part about October? There's a lot of awareness in this month. Yes, there is. So. Especially, especially dwarfism awareness. We bring a lot to the table. Every episode of Joe's Food Bar, there's a lot of content. I am a sports fan. And did you know, Joe, that back in, I believe it was 1960s. 30s. Okay. Close enough. Oh, sorry. So it was 1930. Sorry. That's good. I'm glad you remember. There was a little person, baseball player. The first and only little person baseball player. Get Did the you know that? Fuck out of here. Yes. His name was Eddie Goodell. Okay? Eddie. 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 Eddie Goodell. He played for the St. Louis Browns, which is now the St. Louis Cardinals. He was signed to, a, I believe it was a one-day contract, or it was actually a contract. So, so basically, the owner, right, he had nobody in the seats. The team stunk. This and that, and he wanted to get people in the seats. No wonder so, they sucked. They so got you a little person playing first yeah, base. Yeah, what I'm think? No, he didn't play first base. Uh -oh. So the thing was, is he wanted to get the he people. Couldn't even get to first base. He, he did get to first base actually. Oh, you're right. I'm gonna let me finish the story. Good job, so, Eddie. so he signed a. What is first base? Is that kissing? <laughs> All right, go ahead. <laughs> he signed Eddie to a contract. Right, he had him on the bench. His, his, I believe he he was three foot eight, and he was like sixty pounds, wet. Oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But he, his, and you know what his jersey number was? Uh, <laughs> six thousand thirty-seven. No, one eighth. Right. His, they, his, his jersey number was one eighth. He pinched hit. I couldn't even give him half. No, <laughs> one half. So they one he pinched. He pinched hit the leadoff hitter. Okay, and he was told n to get in the closest batting stance, crouch really down low, and do not swing the bat. In the smallest strike zone in history. In history. And he's the only player in, in baseball history that has a 1,000 uh, on-base uh, on percentage. Do you believe that? Because he took four. He still has the same, he still holds that record to this day. He took four balls and got to first base. Exactly. He didn't swing at one of them. And if he was to swing, I believe the owner said he was going to like get a rifle or something. I mean, that's a little excessive. But anyway, he, he took the four balls, walked to first, his only walk. And then after that, people were in an uproar. They were all like, this is not right, blah, blah, blah. And they actually voided his contract the next day. So he never had another at bat except for that one. Pinch it. Always trying to keep the little man down. I know. But you know what? That's like, that's impressive. Like, I always wanted to be a baseball player. So would you wear a jersey that says 1 8th? If, and, and go and take, for the Mets, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Mets. why not? So they let's say the bases were loaded in the yep. World Series, yes, and uh, two outs. Davey Johnson tells me, yes, or who, who he says, says uh, he says, Where's that 1 8th? Yeah, and he hey, says, why he curse says, again? He says, Foo, get in there and take four balls in a row, as long as it's not to my face, I'm okay with it. Well, why not? You I like, walk home the winning run, you don't like balls in your face. Let's uh, dissect this a yes. little bit. Yes, sir. It was kind of a joke, but it kind of wasn't. No. Like, he got on base. Yes. The pitcher could not throw a strike to this guy because nope. his strike zone was this. Pretty much. But he was told to get in the in the lowest crouching batting stance ever. It was kind of like Ricky Henderson's. Remember Ricky Henderson back in the day? He got really, yeah. really low. That's even lower than that. That to this day, if you go to baseball almanac or, or history.com or whatever it is he is the the record holder can you believe that yes i think it's fake news i think uh, i think that's a made-up story why isn't it who dude does anybody in this earth on playing baseball has a 1000 batting of uh, on base percent no because they obviously had more than one at bat exactly so this guy had one and done one and done. He was like the dude from Field of Dreams. He went out. One on, at bat and then done. Career exactly. Over. He, he went out on a high note. Uh, I guess you could say that. I wonder how much he got paid for that one day of. Uh, Probably like 
ten bucks for an MLB player. What do you think? What do you think he did with that ten bucks after hooker, a hooker and beers? <laughs> Hopefully, he at least got laid out of it. Do you want to meet my friend uh, Eddie? Well, Eddie got on base, and hopefully Eddie got to first base. I hope he got home too. Hopefully, he got a triple at least, right? Exactly. With a nice uh, woman of the night later on. So we want to thank everyone for another episode of Joe's Football. I don't want to thank everyone. Our dwarfism awareness episode for October.